Okay, here we are on an iPad and we're going to take a look at the Facebook app. In this workshop, we're going to take a look specifically at your newsfeed and your profile. You'll notice along the bottom a few different options. Newsfeed, friends, watch, marketplace, notifications, and more. By tapping on newsfeed, you can see it's highlighted in color, and that is the page you are currently looking at on your screen. This is probably where you spend most of your time. It's a never ending feed of posts by your Facebook friends, pages you like and follow, sponsors, ads, friend suggestions, etc. On the bottom of each post, there are different ways for you to interact with that post. There's a like, comment, and share. If you like that post, you tap on like, and that's been associated with that post. If you tap and hold on the like, you have other emotions Re emotional reactions that you can have associated with that uh, post. So there's like, love, care, you think it's funny, wow, makes you sad, or angry. So again, tap and hold on like to see these other options, and then just a quick tap on the emoji you want. So maybe you think that's funny. Happy le Leprechaun Day. Beside like is comment. You have the option to comment on posts. So tap on comment. Here you can see what other people have commented. And whoops, I already had a comment started in there. So when you first open it up, then your comment box will look like this. Write a comment dot dot dot. You tap in there and your keyboard will come up. You can then type in what you want your comment to be. Whoops, we were saying what? We did not know that. As Soon as you have text in that box, you'll notice the blue arrow up here. When you're done typing what you want your comment to be, simply tap on that little blue, kind of looks like a paper airplane, I guess. And then your post, your comment, will be attached to that post. To close the comments, tap on done. Finally, there's the share option. This allows you to share that post to your Facebook page for you to be able to view it and your friends based on your privacy settings. So that's the news feed. Now let's take a look at your profile. There are two ways to get to your profile. In the top right hand corner, you can simply tap on your name or tap on menu at the bottom of the screen and then tap on your name at the top of the list. And your profile comes up. At the top of your page, you have a profile picture and a background picture. Both of these are editable and can be changed at any time. Scrolling down, if you've entered information about yourself, that will display next, followed by photos, your friends, a place for you to post, a new post, and then all your previous posts. If you want to add a new post to your profile, simply tap where it says what's on your mind and a new text box will open up. Tap where it says what's on your mind. And a blank piece of paper will come up here with some keyboard. Now you'll notice when mine came up, I actually had a background selected and that's because the last time I was in here, I had a background selected. So that's all these little colorful icons along the bottom. If you tap on them, they will apply that background to the post. 
and your text goes over top of it. So maybe I want these happy little birds and flowers, kind of seems appropriate. Today's a nice sunny day. We can then make our Facebook post. Hope everyone is enjoying. the sun and now that I have finished what I want to say in my post I'm going to tap on post in the top right and that post is now on my profile for my friends to see so that's what we really wanted to highlight today in this video. I'm just going to take a quick minute now to explain the other options along the bottom. If we tap on friends, this is a page here where you can see all of your Facebook friends that you're connected with. You can tap on requests and see if anybody has requested to be Facebook friends waiting for you to either accept or deny. And then there's a section of people you may know. These are suggestions from Facebook based on possible mutual friends. Next is Watch. This is a collection of Facebook videos they are suggesting you might want to see. Marketplace is a buy and sell page connected to Facebook. Basically like a Kijiji, but for Facebook. Notifications are notifications, so things that have happened related to your Facebook account, maybe a page that you like or follow, something your friends have done, some kind of Facebook activity. And then finally under menu, are a number of other Facebook options such as events, memories, saved, gaming, and jobs. There's quite a bit, a lot in here uh, with Facebook. So maybe we'll take a look at those another day. But hopefully this video has helped making navigating your newsfeed and your profile a little, little bit <laughs> more manageable. Good luck.